Hello and welcome to a new video about my ball balancer. Well, there are already pretty quite some printed parts, I must say. Here, oh, look at that. This is the base. Oh, I test also if they are worth dealing with. This is the base. Looking pretty nice. Third out. Turned out really nice, I must say. Uh, the base of my of my ball balancer. Then here we have this bearing. Mm -hmm. I should also have somewhere the rod of the bearing uh, here. Something like this. Is it going through or not? Ah, uh, maybe. Yeah, it's always you know if you print it this way up, yeah. It's always hard to get a round hole, but therefore I have somewhere a drill. This is not a drill! Repeat! This is not... This is a drill. <laughs> Open it, because actually it should be just a sport structure, so it should be not that deep. Okay, so there's already something. There's already something. should be just a support structure, should be not too... Huh? All right. Okay. Maybe it's going to be harder to mount this stuff. Harder than expected. Oh yeah. Ah, but I will manage. Sooner or later I will manage. And the first thing I want to do is that I am going to add the melt-in threads in all this and all these parts. Yeah. I should not turn inside there anyway. Well, maybe it's a good thing that it's going hard inside. Uh, okay, base. This is the part which is not moving, right? Then here we have somewhere this part and this part where the servo motor shall be mounted. That with with holes, with longer holes, so that it can be adjusted a little bit. Yeah. Then here I also realized. Ooh, I have a problem with the servo motor because I have not noticed that we have here this connector and I cannot get it through now. <laughs> I have to open the servo motor. Gives us the opportunity to look inside, right? What is inside there? Then what else do we have? Here, those parts. Huh? These are the, the end, the end parts. Also looking nice. This thing is also fitting inside here. I'm not sure if I should give the transmitter or the receiver side up. I think transmitting is up and receiving down. I think this should work. Here inside we should be able then to, to, to put in those screws. Yeah? And here are these two rails, which will then rock. The middle part is also here this is the middle part yeah. here those are the grabbers they also look pretty nice i would say yeah. here the two grabbers left and right which are holding which are holding uh the the rails and here the the holes for mounting mounting the led stripe and the holes for the cables should work yeah. and also here those are that is main bearing, yeah. One part here. Second part. There should also be a, an axis somewhere. Yeah, here. Should fit here, hopefully. Put it in here. And second part is here. No. This is how this should look like. And this will rock then. Not the Casper. <laughs> Not rock the Casper. But uh uh, the the bar where the ball is going left and right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So I think I start with mounting this stuff. Yeah, this should be not a problem. No, because this shall move actually inside. Fitting on the bearing. 
And these are these tiny, the tiny peelings. Hmm. Problem. Is this not five millimeter? I bought it as five millimeter. <sighs> problem, problem. I don't know. Five dot something. Hmm. Okay, here I have to do some work with these axles. <sighs> ah, uh, ah, why should everything work? Cannot be too easy, right? right. Melt in the threads. Melt in the threads. M3, what I remember. Look it up. <laughs> if I do something stupid. M4. Right. M4. M4. Ooh, not too much. Ooh. Hmm. I have to order. I have to order. Order. Actually, I think it's looking nice with this transparent. You can see the melting thread shining through. This should be M3. Yeah. It's really working great, I must say. Also here, this should be M3. Let's see if the other one is also fitting from the other side. Good. Ooh, hot, 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 hot. Maybe a little bit further. Good. All right. Let's try if we can screw it in. If we can at least mount those things, right? Uh -huh. A little bit short here. So, use the longer, longer screws. Mm, yeah. Let's see if we can, I can mount the other one as well. So that those two screws are not touching in the middle. And yeah! <laughs> looking good, looking good. Of course, I have to open it again. Because actually all those bearings and stuff, they needed to go... They need to go in between. This is the, also the reason why I've made this two or more part approach. Yeah? That I can mount it on one side, put in the bearing here, yeah? and yeah, be happy with the other side, and then fix it with the other side. No, it looks good. Feels good, looks good. All right, all right. Now the only thing, oh, it's not the only thing, of course, because here, this is this would the part which is going inside here. Yeah. So, and then I again have the problem with the bearing, with the shaft. The shaft is too big, slightly too big for the bearing. But the idea, idea was that you now there is then this axial bearing here, tiny tiny axial bearing. Let's go inside here, here, here. Then here we have this this part. Here we would put in a radial bearing. 
Then we put in the the shaft, which is now a little bit slightly too big, annoying. Yeah. Then another, then another uh, axial bearing, and this actually should work. And then we fix this whole stuff with, with this one. Let's see if I can close it. This is how I imagine this stuff. The only thing missing, uh, it falls apart, yeah, because the axis is missing. All right. Here the bearing is fitting perfect. Inside my printed part. Right. Yeah, yeah. Is this going on? This is fitting easily. The other side should also fit easily. Should be no problem. No. I wonder if I could just use M5 thread. Then it's not beautiful. Not beautiful at all or take away a little bit of this hmm. I have to come up with a solution here I will finish melting in the thread and then we'll see further ah all right here we would also have M3 That's the base, because here we would also have M3. Mm -hmm. Looking good. Looks as 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 if it would as if it would fit. <laughs> and here let's have a look at the servo motor. Can we also use here M3? Yes. Yes, M3 looks nice, uh, so I will put in here M3 threads as well. This close. Pretty close. So I have to be careful with this. This is the minimum. Because you know here, here you see the problem uh, that my tip is looking a little bit outside of this, of this, and this makes it hard. Yeah. Because actually, what what it does that I'm really puncturing the. Well, I have to push it back. Then you can be satisfied with this. Good. Looking also good, yeah. And now get this through. Yeah. Not working because of this. So I unmounted already the screws. Yeah. And here, look at that. What is inside here? We can have a look. What is inside here? Huh? Maybe we should open the last screw as well. Always a good idea to unscrew things. The gearbox. And now we can go through like that. All right. And now I just have to hope I have not destroyed anything. And we can mount this thing again. And suddenly we are already inside. <laughs> Servo motor. That's okay. I'm not hurt. All right, all right. Ah, the holes fit perfect. Perfect. Okay. It's going to be time that I get rid of some screws lying around here. I hope I have not messed up already. Everything's here.
Okay. Now I just have to put in the screws here. And hope that there is not too much of this thermoplast. I used the shoulder screws. How much is there? Oh, should be sufficient. Should be sufficient, so mount it. Good. Good! Now I'm going to mount this here. You know, in your constructions, I made here those this this thing slideable, huh? adjustable. It's never that accurate. Huh? It's never that accurate, and you need to have somewhere something which can take the inaccuracies, huh? where you can adjust the way inaccuracies of of the production simply. In the 3D model everything looks fine. And then after production you have suddenly here a little bit more, here a little bit less. Of course, you can say they have to be exact, yeah. But you know, the exacter it needs to get, the more are expensive it will be. And here, this shell goes through here. And through the hole. Yeah. I think it will fit. And here we have them to mount this stuff. Then, then I am should I am what is going on? Should be adjustable. Come on! Yes, we can tighten the screws. Yes, baby. Alright. This is working. Good. Huh? Here we should have M5. I will use another tip for this. Where else would we have M3? Here on the top parts I have M2.5, remember? You really have to be careful because M2.5, these melt in threads, uh, you see they have diameter 4, four uh, for the hole, huh? and those have also diameter 4, so I really have to be careful which one I have to, that I'm not mixing them up. Huh? These are the supports for the Mm. LED strap. I have to use here M two dot five at these supports of the LED strap because this aluminium rail of the LED straps, this cooling rail, this is really, really thin. And so you cannot have a too much, <laughs> too big head. I want to have this proper cooling there. All right. Then here, these things, mounting these things. Ah, we'll see how this is turning out now. Maybe there's another. Yeah, I thought that somewhere, somewhere must be really tiny, tiny, tight, tight, 
tiny screws, really tiny screws. Put inside here. Here. <laughs> I mean, nothing, right? Let's see how how I managed to put them in. Okay, they fit in here. This is good. Okay. Okay. Looks good. Second screw. Satisfied. No, it looks okay. And the cover should also fit. And I can just solder, solder the connectors here, put the wire through here, cover this. Voila. <laughs> Looking nice, right? All right. So, but the most interesting part actually I mean these are just covers and, and stuff let's say it looking it's looking nice uh, however the most interesting part the bearings and stuff I cannot show you because they are you know this is why you usually have tolerances bearings and bearings tolerances are crucial uh, are very important and just by buying some rod yeah, in the local hardware store and they say it's five millimeter doesn't really mean it's five millimeter it okay it's around five millimeter but for bearing reasons it's too narrow no? it's simply too narrow so i have to come up with a solution either i have to take away a little bit but then you know, the risk is that it's not round and stuff, or I will just use Yeah Maybe I'll just use very unprofessional solution would be if I would just use a thread A5 thread Not to cut those, I've cut those those threads on here. I never done this since school. I will think about a solution. Hopefully come back to you. But this time. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.